Hi everyone, welcome to another Family Art Time to Go with the Art Center of Corpus Christi. Today we are going to be making this cute little llama made out of toilet paper rolls. So get ready and let's all get started. Go over all of the items in your kit. You are going to be getting uh, the two uh, toilet paper rolls. and a piece of black felt. You can't tell here, but there are white glue, um, white paint and pink paint. And I gotta figure out how to package those. Let's see, a couple of Q-tips, some cotton balls. You will need to get a pair of scissors. I'm going to be using these. The small ones are good uh, to cut the eyelashes. And depending on if you're wanting the boy or the girl llama, um, you will be getting a black piece of card stock for the girl. And you'll also be getting some pink card stock, some yarn. And then the googly eyes are for the boy llama. And then some sequins. And this is the girl llama. Look how cute. With the little fringe and the sequence. So that's what you're going to be making. So let's go. Okay, so you are going to be getting um, your scissors and the toilet paper roll. And we are going to go ahead and cut this in half. And save the other half, you'll need that later. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and just cut one slit. That's gonna be the llama's little back end, okay? Alrighty, so now you're going to get um, the other toilet paper roll you're going to have to make two slits because you're going to slide that in so go ahead and make two slits um, make sure that it fits so you're going to go ahead and slide it in but make sure that it fits you're going to see right here see how it's not even um, at the bottom it's going to not make your llama uh, sit right so what I'm going to do is pull it back out and just cut a little bit more of the slit so it slides back up there so you just kind of want to do a little bit at a time and see if it works for you okay okay I'm gonna try and put that back in again There we go. Alrighty, and there you go. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting uh, with a cotton ball. You can either do the paint them separate or if you already have them attached like I do, go ahead and just do that. So just get a little bit of the white paint cotton ball and basically you're just going to start kind of sponging it on or dabbing it on or stamping it on whatever you want to call it um okay so what you're going to do is just start doing this and you don't want it perfect you're making it look distressed uh have your parents explain that definition to you if you don't know it um, kind of just making it look old and you're gonna let the cardboard of that toilet paper roll kind of uh, show through so that it just makes it look like um, it's more like an art seed type of look to your little llama okay instead of just painting it all one color you can paint it all white if you want to though. It's it's up to you. I'm just showing you this technique that I'm doing, okay? 
and just keep uh, stamping on your paint. Once you're done, just go ahead and let it dry. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, your next step is going to be get, to get the other piece of that um, toilet paper roll that you cut. And we're going to start making the ears. Um, there's not going to be a template for the ears, so just kind of... Um, See how I have that little rectangle? I'm just kind of cutting it on the side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it look like an ear. But once I'm done with the first one, I am going to, um, see, I'm kind of measuring with that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other piece and kind of use that one as my template and just kind of cut around it. That way it's exactly the same. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to glue your ears. So uh, just put one on each side. Make sure that the little tail end is on the back. So put one on there. Put some glue. Get your glue and put that on and just press it on there. And you're just going to need to let it sit there and dry with this project y'all are going to have to be a little bit patient there's a lot of drying and just you don't want to rush through it so if y'all have to start and stop and come back to it the next day that's fine okay so the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and once your ears are dry you're going to get the pink cardstock and you're just going to cut out um a smaller piece for the inside of the ear okay so I'm just folding it what I'm going to do is sort of cut a, a heart not a full heart you'll see and okay so I'm sorry I'm out of frame alrighty so now what I'm going to do with that is going to cut that in half it up a little bit so that it does fit inside of that ear so y'all just kind of make your little adjustments and just make sure that it fits inside so it looks like it does so um, the next thing I'm going to do is get some glue and just glue them on Okay, y'all, so the next uh, thing you need to do is uh, make the little llama nose. I am going to include a template on this one, especially because I got out of frame. And so what you need to do is just uh, get some glue there on each side. I'm going to fold it in half so that it has a little peak. And... Then you're going to go ahead and glue it on. And this is what I mean about patience. On this nose, you want to press it down for a little while so that it kind it holds on to it. And then uh, once it sort of has a hold to your little body there, you are going to let it dry.
Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, you need to do some white touch-up paint on the nose and the ears. I should have done that before. So if you watch this before, I suggest that you do that, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just touch this up a little bit. And you're doing this after your ears and your nose are completely dry. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next step. Okay, let's go ahead and cut out a little heart for the nose. Just fold it in half and cut out your little heart. And you're going to glue that on its the little peak of the nose that you made. Okay. Okay, so now you want to get your Q-tip and get a tiny bit of pink paint. And you just want to uh, paint in some little cheeks on the side. And paint around the nose. Like this. Okay. just let all of this dry just a little bit okay so if you are wanting to make a girl llama with the eyelashes I am going to show you that real quick you'll get the little cardstock that's in your kit sorry I'm out of frame and then um, what you're gonna do is just there you go. Cut a little half moon and get your scissors and just start making a bunch of tiny little slits all along the bottom. See? Just like that. And you can work with them later. Okay. And you might have to cut your eyelashes a little bit on each end if you need to. And so then you would just get that and bend the little top part a little bit so that you have something to glue on. So you would just glue, sit, glue it on there and after it's dry you can mess with the lashes. And that's for the girl. So we are making the boy llama today. So I'm going to get the big googly eyes. That would be in your kit for the boy. And just get a little uh, marker and draw in some lashes. Uh, then all you're gonna do is get your googly eye and get some glue on it. Just glue your eye on there. And with using this glue, you are going to see that your hands are going to get messy. Okay, you guys, so this project is really long and we are going to be making the little pouch now. There's so many steps to this project. So grab your little square and we're going to be making a little, um, we're going to be rounding it out at the bottom. doesn't have to be perfect just go ahead and round it out at the bottom a little bit to make his little saddle alrighty okay that looks good 
And so what you're going to do is you are going to cut all of your yarn into a bunch of little pieces. Um, I kind of had two strands and just cut. So that's what you'll do and just start gluing those on. Do them in little uh, tiny sections of glue. Like this and go all the way around and just grab them. You can do a few at a time. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've gotten all my little um, fringe on there. Turning it over. And right now I'm just kind of grabbing the sequence uh, that I'm wanting to put on there. And uh, letting it dry just a little bit. The glue that's uh, on the yarn. So you just want to start making your little design and figuring out how you want it to look before you start gluing down your sequence. Okay, so now you're gonna actually cut your fringe and uh, make it a lot shorter. And this was very satisfying for me to cut. I have no idea why, but anyway. Oh, look how pretty. Alrighty. So, yes, you're almost there. You are going to get a bunch of glue tacky glue that we're giving you and stick it all on the back and then you're just going to glue him that piece on there onto him or her and now we're ready to actually put the sequence on Okay, everybody, you are done with this family art time to go. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was a lot of steps. I hope that you are listening to this video before you start because I want to tell you a little bit about uh, the art process. Sometimes you don't want to do things all at one time. So you might want to start it and then maybe finish it later that day or finish it the next day there's nothing wrong with that i always say that art is a process it's a creative process and there is no rush with it okay so this is cindy with the art center of corpus christi education department and we will see you again next time